Hello folks, we have learned VI Editor and now it's time to look at the difference between VI and Vim Editor. As far as the functionality is concerned, both editors work in the same manner. Which editor you choose is a matter of your personal choice. Some people recommend learning the Vim Editor instead of the VI Editor. Now of course, due to its added feature, the learning and using Vim Editor is much easier than the VI editor. <clears throat> now if it is easier than why we were using VI in the first place. The reason we were using VI in the first place is because VI was the first one that was introduced when the Linux or Unix was born. Now a lot of times you're gonna find um, you're gonna find um, an supporting an operating system maybe like an older version of operating system maybe it's Solaris or AIS or HP UX type of older Unix type of operating system that probably not gonna have Vim then you have to use VI now the difference can I do I have to learn Vim as completely new command or new tool absolutely not what if you have learned VI then you have learned Vim as well but you probably not have learned its enhanced feature that is why it says that if you have learned Vim first which has a lot of new features and then you go to VI that means you don't have to go back to VI alright next one is uh, since Vim, Vim is based on the VI so when you learn how to use Vim editor you will automatically learn how to use VI editor it's just that simple as I explained it earlier Vim has all the features as VI with some excellent addition and there there's also a comprehensive help system and a lot of customization options available in the Vim editor now let's look at the difference between VI and Vim editor the main difference now I got this picture and which is very informative picture from online so let's look at a few things that VI has to offer today it is installed on a lot of places it has a shorter name and it is simpler to use and the combined feature for VI and Vim let's look at them both are small both are ubiquitous meaning that both are available pretty much on a lot of operating system intuitive command language it has a learning curve and a powerful once you learn it so one way or the other whether you learn VI or Vim you will have the power once you learn it now if you wanted to learn a Vim you're gonna find a lot of new features that are listed on the right hand side and one of them is the completion which is that you could auto complete your command or your word or 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 as if you were typing in bash you hit tab it auto completes pretty much the same way then you have spe spell check beautiful so if you are typing a word and you want to put in a sp spell check it will it is available now in vi it was not available but um it's good if the, the spell check is there but I do not find a, 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 a like a strong reason to doing a spell check uh, the reason because we, we do a lot of um, um, configuration file changes so in configuration file a lot of words don't even even make sense but anyway it's good to have a spell check whenever we are an editor comparison uh, merging unicode vim diff regular expression scripting language supports many different ones plugins it has a GUI folding and a syntax highlighting a lot of these new fe features now if I go into each one of them um, it's gonna take me a lot longer but I want you to go ahead and explore it yourself but what I could do here is I could give you some of the information that will help you to understand and learn Vim editor and and all its new features that it has to offer so let me give you the Vim interactive learning tool but of course you could go uh, you could go online and you could find a lot of tools you type v Vim Vim editor tutorials you're gonna find tons of resources even people have written books on Vim and you're gonna find even a single entire course maybe 10 20 hours just on Vim so the more you wanted to learn the more you want to dig in it's pretty much the same as I said the, I, I would always recommend that you use a basic 
basic um, way of using Vim or VI. So let's get into the t those tools. There are many websites that offer free Vim interactive training. And these websites are, of course, these are free and people have done an amazing job when they actually have built those interactive tools for people to actually learn that. Now, one of the, the, the my favorite is the www.openvim.com. This, this website has an interactive tool which helps you learn Vim or Viagra a lot faster. And I would definitely recommend you to please go ahead and try it out. And you're going to find it a lot easier than actually going through um, a document or going through a tutorial or a video. Next one is a VimGenius.com, which also has a, a, a good interactive tool that you could learn from. And the last one is Vim-Adventures.com, which actually teaches you the Vim editor through the games. If you're into games, you could play games as well as you could learn Vim Editor as well. So let me go into the Open Vim first so I could show you how it works. So go to the browser and right here I have Open Vim already entered. I'm just gonna refresh it and it's gonna start the introduction and you see on top this is the interactive screen for you and the bottom is the keyboard. It's gonna prompt you to enter the highlighted keys and it's gonna ask you to type it on the screen so let me read it the first time you're gonna log in it's gonna say hello I am an interactive Vim tutorial I will teach you what Vim is about without hassle perfect nobody wants hassle if you are in a hurry press any key to go fa to fast forward what it means is if you wanted to go directly into these different lectures or interactive sessions then you could just hit the, the the space bar or or sorry sorry any key to fast forward but i would not recommend you you go through it just spend some time and believe me it's not going to take you longer to go through the first introduction section to practice you have made uh, you have learned tryout practice page it has context sensitive reference for commands now let me introduce you to the basic of vim now see it's highlighting or I'm blinking the enter key so what it's asking you to do is it hit enter once you hit enter it says Vim has two basic mode one is insert mode in which you write text and if a normal text editor <coughs> excuse me and another is normal mode which provides you efficient way to navigate and manipulate text so we already know that you type I to get into the interactive mode or where you type it in and you hit escape to get out of that so now the fifth line says let's try it out first change to insert mode so it's asking me to hit I go ahead and I on your keyboard good you are now in the insert mode write something and change back to normal okay hello and I wrote that and then I'm gonna hit escape good let's move on to another section beautiful let's hit enter in contrast to, rel regula uh, to regular text editor, you use keys H, J, K, and L instead of arrow keys to move cursor. Now, as I, I explained that earlier as well, uh, try not to use the left, up, down, and right keys. Um, I would suggest and definitely strongly recommend that you use H, J, K, L keys to navigate left, right. So basically here, it's actually teaching you how you could use these interactive keys again as you could see uh, we are already on the third um, interactive session all you have to do is go to up to 19 the last one is the 20th and try that out it's not gonna take you longer and you're gonna find it so easy to learn a Vim editor right here on this on this interactive tool the second one I explained you is the Vim genius so if you go to <clears throat> vimgenius.com and it's gonna say become a Vim genius click start now I'm a beginner I'm experienced um, if you are a beginner pick the first one or the second one if you have some experience already now before you start <coughs> um, this is what it's telling you about those main keys in VR or Vim editor so go ahead and start level one and now it says move cursor to left look at this top left 
is the H key. So when I do H, it says H is correct. Press enter or click next to continue. Insert at beginning of line. So insert at the beginning of line is I or is it I or O? So I think append the cursor. So um oh so it's giving me the next line. Uh, anyway, I was thinking I'd hit enter. So append at cursor is usually A. So hit A and it says A is correct. Press enter or click to next. So append at end of line. So it's gonna keep asking you these questions and you're gonna have to press the keys on your keyboard. And the third one, as I said, I'd never used it. It's actually learning Vim while playing a game. So you could actually say press any key. So I'm gonna hit enter. And it's gonna say H, K, L, J as my navigating keys up, left, right, and bottom. And you could go left, right, bottom this is your cursor and you could learn as you go through it so I never use it try it out and if you like it let me know and provide your feedback on that anyway um, this is all about the Vim interactive learning tool I hope you find this um, I hope you find this lecture valuable and you could use these open free tools online to learn a Vim if you have any questions I'm always here ask me send me a message send me uh, a message through Udemy or send me an email. Thank you and good luck.